Nine Iraqi women. Nine stories. Nine parts of desire. I was feeding my daughter, Tala, and driving my son Omar to school. I forgot some papers for Omar, so I drove back home to get them. And I saw my husband in bed with my very close friend. And really, I am shocked. Because his bed went, but Saudi bed. <laughs> Who will be left to inspire the people if all the artists and intellectuals run? Most of them already have. My sister included. Well, I don't judge. I mean, for most, <laughs> they feel they cannot express themselves because here, always, it is life and death. Even I should have been dead twice before. I tell you, but I'm not. <laughs> you must be sunny. <clears throat> You must be sure. Middle class. <laughs> I tell you, everything I have here is stolen. <laughs> I lost her. The baby should be dead, not her. God, she had enough. She had three girls at home, and she insisted. Hoping for a boy, what am I supposed to tell her husband? Here, it's your firstborn son. I'm sorry, he has two heads. of the play is um, vital, it's essential, we need to put a face on this war. These are real people and that's what she did. She made these women's lives, she made it real and the political message is that peace is the only answer. 